Hello, my name is Kenneth Blackburn, and this is my intro to music appreciation video. First point is why study music appreciation. Firstly, I needed an elective to fill out my schedule uh, so I could fully utilize my GI Bill. Secondly, out of the electives offered, I thought it would be interesting to study music and the history of music since it's such an integral part of life. The second point is eras of music history and evolution of classic music. Depending on where you look, there's five to seven periods throughout history. Um, the first period being the medieval period, which runs from 1150 to 1400. It's known for its monophonic chant. Music uh, Musicians played on instruments like the lute, flute, recorder, and some string instruments. The next period is the Renaissance period, which ran from 1400 to 1600. It introduced music to wider audiences via choral. Uh, music would be played on viol, rebec, lyre, guitar, and other string instruments. Brass instruments were also introduced during this era. The next uh, period would be the barbecue, which ran from 1600 to 1750. Uh, the complexity of music during this period increased. They fully embraced tonal music, which is music based on major scales and minor scales rather than modes. Common instruments included the violin, viola, the, the cello, excuse me, the contrabass, the bassoon, and the oboe. Harse, harse chord was the dominant keyboard instrument, although piano emerged during this period as well. The next period is the classical period, which ran from 1750 to 1820. This era marked the first time that the symphony, the instrumental concerto, and the sonata form was brought to wide audiences. Chamber music and string quartet were also popular during this era. The next period was the Romantic period, which ran from 1820 to 1900. Uh, it introduced music and drama to the classic period music. The new, uh, new, there was a new instrument in the woodwind family, which is the saxophone uh, during this period. Uh, the next period is the modern period, which was 1900 to about 1930. Uh, it broke from the harmonic and structural rules that governed the previous forms. And then uh, the postmodern period, which is 1930 to today, uh, just blurred the lines and, you know, everything's mashed up uh, <laughs> today. Um, the song I chose for the year I was born, which is 1990, uh, was number 35 on the Billboard year-end hot singles. Uh, which is We Didn't Start the Fire by Billy Joel. It's a it's a list song. There's a uh, brief references to 118 significant political, culture, cultural, scientific, and sporting events between the years of 1948 and 1989. Uh, upon release, it was received with mixed reviews. Um, Stephen Edinger said it was uh, pure information overload, a song that assumed we knew exactly what we what he was singing about. What was truly alarming was the realization that we, the listeners, for the most part, understood the references in the song. A cover song by the by the Fallout Boys was met with negative reception in uh, 2023. Uh, the song I chose uh, for 20 years before I was born, which is 1970. Uh, was number five on the charts, uh, War by Edwin Starr. Uh, it's a counterculture song, uh, era soul song, excuse me. Uh, it originally, it was originally performed by The Temptations, and uh, it was one of 161 songs listed on the No Playlist by Clear Channel after the events of 9-11. Um, the song struck a chord with the American public and resonated with growing public uh, opposition to a to the uh, war in Vietnam. Uh, the political and social climate of 1990, uh, the events that led to begin the crisis of the Gulf, the Gulf War uh, happened in 1990, even though later on it was, I think, 1991 uh, when everything actually happened. Uh, the first web server for the foundation of the World Wide Web uh, was, was made. Uh, birth rates in many countries stopped rising or fell steeply due to the uncertainty of the socialist governments in Eastern Europe collapsing. The political and social of 19, uh, 1970, uh, Apollo 13 mission is aborted after the oxygen tank fails. Uh, I think it's a secondary oxygen tank failed. 
and four students uh, protesting the Vietnam War were killed by police in Ohio. And uh, comparing and contrasting the political and social unrest, uh, excuse me, uh, basically it's just uh, political and social unrest following key events during those years.